So in this video we're going to learn how to convert between units of time. And the units of time we're going to convert between our days, hours, minutes and seconds. As a little side note, on your calculator there is what is called a degrees, minutes, second button, if you have a scientific calculator. And this can also be used when making time calculations. It won't be useful for the calculations we're making today, but it's useful when you're adding or subtracting times. Uh, just for curiosity's sake, you can have a look at your calculator, and usually the button will be DMS. It'll have a DMS on it for degrees, minutes, or seconds. The other one I've seen has a little dot with three commas, one of these two. You, um, that's what it usually looks like, the degrees, minutes, and seconds button. Now, um, we'll talk a little bit about the little diagram I have that shows you how to convert between units of time, you'll notice that you've got 24, 60, 60, and, and that's because there are 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, and 24 hours in a day. All right, now when you go to from the bigger units down to the smaller units, the seconds, you multiply, and when you go in the other direction, you divide. Okay, now to help you understand uh, which direction is which? I mean, I know I've told you by looking at the direction of the arrows, but if you're in a situation where you can't remember which way the arrows go and which way is times and which way is divide, here's a little pointer for you. Okay, so we know for one day there are 60 hours and which is 3,600 minutes or 86,400 seconds, okay? So what you'll notice is when we go from the bigger units down to the smaller units, the numbers get bigger because there are a lot more seconds in a day. And if you think about it, when you make things bigger, you multiply. So when we go to the right, we need to multiply because the numbers need to be made bigger. Um, you'll also notice when we go from seconds back to days, the numbers become smaller, which is why we divide when we go from smaller units over to bigger units. All right, so let's get right into the example. Um, we're just going to convert, complete two questions. So the first one wants us to convert four hours and 20 minutes into minutes. Now, you'll notice they've already given us the 20, which is in minutes, but the four hours is not. So what we'll do is we'll take that number four, and if we want to convert four hours into minutes, we're just going to look at our diagram and go, all right, if I'm going from hours into minutes, it tells me to times by 60. All right, so 4 times 60, which is 240. So 4 hours is 240 minutes. And because it said 4 hours and 20 minutes, we need to add the 20 on. This will be 260 minutes when we add the 20 onto the 240. All right, uh, question B, which wants us to convert minutes into days. So we're going from minutes to days. So we're actually going to take two steps to the left, and it tells us to divide 60 and divide 24. So all we're going to do is just take that number, 4,320, we're going to divide 60 and divide 24, and we can do it all in one calculation. 4320, divide 60, divide 24, gives me 3. So that's the equivalent of 3 days. And that concludes our lesson.